Hi, my name is Juana and I work for the Memphis Public Library. This is Lila. Lila is a trained, certified uh, therapy dog and Lila also works at the Memphis Public Library. Lila and I do a lot of programs together, especially with the children. And we really miss the children. As a matter of fact, we miss everybody. The other day Lila said, Boy, Mom, do you think we could make a book or read a book so we could send it on a video? That would be our way to say we miss you and we send you a hi. That was a good idea, Lila. So here we are and let's go. We'd like to especially uh, thank the New York Viking Press for allowing us to have these read aloud programs. The name of this is Whistle for Willie. I wonder what that's about, Whistle for Willie. Boy, that's a subject that I'm interested in and maybe I'll show you later. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. And look, who do you think that is out by this pole looking so sad? I bet it's Peter. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog came running straight to him. But still doesn't look very happy. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around and around and around. He whirled and whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and around and up and down and all around, and he fell on the floor. Peter saw his dog. Willie was coming. There was quick as a wink, he hit in the empty carton laying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought? Willie would stop and look around and wanting to know who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but he just couldn't. Just couldn't lie. So Willie just walked on, sort of with his head down, I think. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks, see the chalks, out of his pocket and drew a long, long line all the way over to where the girls are dancing. Right up, the line went right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired. But Lila, nothing happened. It was pretty flowers. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself look more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, uh, I've come home early today, dear. Uh, is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, Peter. Wow, look at those colors. That's beautiful. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. Run away from your shadow, Lila. He jumped off his shadow. But when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was. And who should he see? But Willie, right, Willie. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Boy, I bet his cheeks are puffed out. Suddenly, out came a real whistle, a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. Look, there's Willie looking. Oh, can you see him in the carton? Look at the carton. It's me, Peter shouted, and stood up. Willie raced straight at him. 
there he is whistling and he's happy. He is happy because he's whistling and he's doing it very well. Peter ran home to show his father and his mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. And he was a happy whistler from then on. That's a good book, Lila. It's a good book. All the whistling that Lila and Willie could do.